Landscape gives you an at-a-glance overview of all your physical managed assets. And here, it alerts you to the state of your software infrastructure. Now, let's inspect the details of one of our machines. The overview includes basic information like the last time the device contacted Landscape, any pending activities assigned to it, and basic hardware information like CPU, RAM, network configuration, and the like. But we can go into even more detail. It's very comprehensive. And because it's sourced from LSHW, it's exactly the same information you'd see if you were debugging this machine in your terminal. Even the CPU flags are tracked. We can also export the data in a CSV dump so it can be imported into a spreadsheet or any other data processing program. We covered patch management in a previous video. Here, we'll zero in on the software inventory of the machine we're inspecting. This is the list of applicable upgrades. We can toggle to other views, including the one detailing the machine's software inventory. As you can see, it lists all the installed packages. We can search for machines on all kinds of criteria. We can list all the machines running a given Ubuntu version, for example. This simple query returns all machines running Ubuntu 12.04 precise. We can also compose more complex queries, such as laptops running Natty that need security upgrades. Search terms can include tags, laptop in this case. Indeed, you can use tags to group machines in pretty much any way you see fit. Tags can be easily added or removed, and you can use them to track quite disparate associations. We can add another group at will. We often use tags to identify which machines we plan to perform management tasks on. If we wanted to require the use of public keys for remote logins to all machines running Hardy, we'd use Landscape's client scripting functionality. Let's quickly examine a script we wrote earlier. It has a title, a shell to execute in, there's the script itself, a timeout value to safeguard us from hung scripts, and a user to execute under. If needed, additional files can be delivered under the path landscape attachments and made available to the script at execution time. We can schedule this for immediate execution or for a predefined time, such as our Saturday 4 a.m. corporate IT maintenance window. This is a very powerful way of executing shell or Python scripts, or even applying puppet manifests or chef recipes. But Landscape also provides for a different kind of device scripting, in that the Landscape server itself can be driven through its automation API. Here's an example. A shell script interfacing directly with Landscape and outputting a list of how many machines are currently vulnerable to known security issues, how many of them have updates available, and how many require a reboot. And there's the output. And we could have done the same thing in Python if we'd wanted, because Landscape includes a Python library as well as a shell client. The API means you can use scripting technologies you already know to borrow any of Landscape's functionality, or integrate it with management, monitoring, and ticketing systems you already have. It's an even more powerful way to automate labor-intensive administration tasks, making your infrastructure much easier to maintain. And as Ubuntu evolves over time, you can rely on Landscape to keep track, so you don't have to.